everyone happy Thanksgiving. Got a quick video for you today. Just want to show you what things are like in the fall time around Portland, Oregon. We'll dig into some of the more popular events and festivals. All that starts now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Living in Oregon, as you might imagine, in Oregon. Got a lot of farms around here, so farms are big in the fall time. I want to show you some of the different events and festivals and things that we do. Show you what things look like around this time of year. We always get those questions about the weather. I'll show you the, the weather here in just a moment uh, for the next uh, week and a half or so. This is at uh, one of the mini farms, and I'll show you a map of the, all the farms in the Portland metro area. Uh, lots of food, donuts, cider, stuff like that. There's dozens of farms just like this all across the Portland metropolitan area. A lot of family related stuff, so these things really cater to the kids. One of the great things that you find about these farms is they're all across the port Portland metro area, so you usually don't have to travel far. Some of these farms are going to have various different types of uh, attractions. This one you see from Bauman's Farm, dropping a giant pumpkin, pumpkin into a swimming pool. Lots of animals, as you might imagine. But as you can see, pumpkin patches all across the Portland metropolitan area. Maybe this name stands out to you, uh, Roloff Farms. They have a TV show. I'm, I'm not very familiar with it. I think it might be on Lifetime or something like that. I'm sure if you are familiar with the TV show, you recognize that name. And if uh, we search through Google, there's actually quite a few more farms. These are just probably some of the more popular ones that tend to pop up more frequently. Oregon Zoo's got a great event where they give uh, big giant pumpkins to elephants to smash. People seem to always enjoy that. A uh, suburb of Portland, Oregon, where people carve out uh, pumpkins and, and make uh, boats out of them, if you will, and uh, have a race. It's called the, uh, the, the Pumpkin Regatta. And as for the weather here, uh, we didn't have any rain this past Halloween, which was nice. This uh, seven day, whatever, eight day forecast probably gives you a pretty good idea of what weather typically looks like throughout this time of year. Lots of 40s and 50s, periodic rain. We do get some sun. It's not raining and overcast and cloudy the entire time. And another thing that uh, is really nice around this time of year is uh, wine country also celebrates Thanksgiving. Wine country Thanksgiving. During Wine Country Thanksgiving, Oregon's premier wine tasting and cellar stocking event, more than 150 wineries open their doors to the public, offering samples of their favorite labels and special vintages, with pours from local favorites like Bodecker Cellars, whose exquisite Pinot Noirs consistently received 90 plus ratings by Wine Spectator etc etc uh, this website travelportland.com got a bunch of different events so that's what it looks like uh, in Portland around this time of year lots of stuff outside lots of stuff relating to farms and agriculture food wine drinks things like that hope this video gave you a better idea of what to expect for fall time in Portland it is one of the nice things about living in this area is that we have four very distinct seasons and uh, fall time is an amazing time of the year the air is very crisp if you're thinking about moving to the Portland metropolitan area. My name is Seth Marchant. I'm a licensed broker in the state of Oregon. I've helped a lot of people buy homes here. And if you're one of those people that are thinking about taking the next steps, you can call, text, email, or click the link below in the description if you want to hop into our calendar. You can also hit that QR code if you're watching from TV to go to our website. And if you want to see more videos about what it's like to live in Oregon, especially around Portland, from events to tours to pros and cons, pretty much everything you can think of. We have over 100 videos on our channel, so make sure and subscribe. And if this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. And feel free to comment. Let us know if you're familiar with the area, what your favorite thing to do is around the fall time. Until next time, take care, everyone.